to Elizabeth in the kitchen. Thanks, John. I'm here with Junior League of Lake Charles, Allison Kuhn, and we're making a good holiday recipe, something sweet. That's right. Something for the kids to help with, too. Mm -hmm. It's called Cowboy Candy, and it's perfect, too, for the McNeese football days and any mm -hmm. other tailgating it's snack on. Correct. What we're going to do is take an 11 by 15 pan, and I've already lined it with foil, and use the non-spray cooking oil mm -hmm. real quick. And we're going to line this with either 12 honey or chocolate graham crackers. And as you can see here, we're not going to use one or the other. We're going to use a little bit of a mix. Yeah. Can't so thank you for helping. Like that. Exactly. One leftover. And you definitely want to keep that uh, non-spray uh, mix out because actually a tip in the cookbook that it tells you is for when you're using peanut butter, honey, and other sticky items, spray your utensils or spray your measuring cups with that non-cooked sticking uh, that non-stick non cooking spray, yeah. spray, and it'll come right out, as well as make cleanup so much easier. That's a great tip. Yeah, and actually this is one of the many recipes you'll be able to taste at the Junior League of Lake Charles Incorporated's annual market. Of the Mistletoe Moss. Moss. Yeah, so what are you pouring over these? What I've already done is melted a half a cup of creamy peanut butter in six blocks of white almond bark. And I recommend that you microwave it for a minute first and then stir and then microwave for another 30 seconds at a time, stirring each time. Well, it smells wonderful. It smells like peanut butter you usually spread is. on toast or something. So it's very easy, as you can see. All we did was line this pan and then we used a cooking spray, 12 graham crackers, and I'm going to evenly spread this. And on the way back, when we come back, I'm going to show you how to finish it off if you can pull the kids away. Yeah, and if you want to cheat, you can go to our Sunrise page at kplctv.com and the full recipe is already there. It's time to get your first clue into